Tom Goslowski and Wolf here on 104.5 The Team and 104.5 The Team.com. The Syracuse football season kicks off next Friday, 7 o'clock inside the Carrier Dome against Colgate. Joining us now on the phone line, he's the head coach of the Syracuse Orange, Coach Dino Babers. And Coach, you were a first-year coach for the Orange. What made you want to accept this job at Syracuse? You know, Syracuse has such a fine tradition in the past, and the facilities up here are outstanding. We, we play in a dome. We're the only Power 5 school with a dome. Uh, <clears throat> I just felt like it's, it's been dormant for too long, that it's, uh, it's ripe, it's ready, and if the right guy comes in here, he could turn it around, and hopefully I'm that guy. Coach, who came up with this new hashtag, Orange is the New Fast? You know, I've got some younger coaches that watch a lot more TV than they probably should. And, you know, I think they piggybacked off of one of the shows on Netflix or something like that. Yeah. But uh, it's caught on. It's kind of catchy. And uh, the recruits really like it. Yeah, the show is Orange is the New Black, which is a really popular show on uh, on Netflix, Coach. There you go. So <laughs> there I, you I, go. I understand season tickets selling very well. Uh, 3,500 season tickets have been sold so far. Uh, what are your expectations as far as that goes, Coach? You know, I just want to put a, 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 a fantastic show on for the fans. I think we can be entertaining. Uh, I don't know if that's going to transfer into as many wins as I would like or everyone else would like, but I think it's a different style. It's a different brand, and I think if the uh, community and the university and the fan base is extremely patient, I think we can give them some extremely exciting football in the Dome. Two hours west of us here in Albany. And tickets are still available. Cuse.com backslash tickets or 888-DOME-TICKS. Coach, you had a great moment involving one of your quarterbacks, Zach Mahoney. He was a walk-on. You rewarded him a scholarship. What was that moment like for you and your players? And also, what does Zach mean to your program? You know, this is this is my third program that I've been a head coach of. And I'm not sure I get I get more goosebumps over or chicken skin, or anything more than giving a, a deserving walk-on of a full grant and aid to be able to take someone who's working jobs and their parents are barely pushing them through college and to take some young man that just came out to a football team merely on faith, belief without evidence, and then going there and putting the work in and working past guys who have all their all their academics and everything else housing paid for and to be able to not as a gift but earn a scholarship in that situation i don't i'm not sure there's a greater reward as a head coach to be a part of that presentation it's it's really unbelievable coach how are you guys preparing for the first matchup against colgate well as we traditionally do the the, the, the hard thing about camp is that you're not only preparing it for Colgate, you're preparing for all 12 opponents. Mm -hmm. And we broke camp uh, yesterday. Today was our first day working on Colgate. And it's a huge balance between getting prepared for all 12 opponents, coming out of camp with tired legs, and then finding a way to keep your legs fresh and, and, and recharge them, so to speak, while you're still getting prepared for a very, very fine Colgate opponent. You're talking about somebody with, I, I think, 18 starters back or 16 starters back, a whole bunch. And uh, they also won their conference last year. The last time I was at an FCS school and came up in a situation like that, I was the FCS coach, and we upset at San Diego State that year in their very first game. And then they turned around and won their conference and beat Boise State. So Teams like us can be surprised in these games. Colgate is a fine opponent. I'm sure they're going to be more than ready for us. And with them having a veteran team returning and us having um, learning a new scheme on offense and defense and kicking game, we're extremely vulnerable for this football game. He is the head coach of the Syracuse Orange football team. Coach Gino Babers joins us here on the phone lines, 104.5, the team and 104.5, the team.com. Syracuse kicks off their season next Friday against Colgate. And Coach, I know it's year one for you at the program, but Syracuse has a storied history. Larry Zonka. John Mackey, Marvin Harrison, and of course those legendary running backs in Jim Brown, Ernie Davis, and Floyd Little. There was talk about the number 44, heralded number at Syracuse, possibly returning to the field. What do you believe may be the future of the number 44 for the Syracuse football program? You know, I even though I know about all those guys you talked about, and I know that proud tradition, you know, I'm the new guy on the block. I heard, I'm like the rookie in the conference. I'm the, I'm the rookie head coach at Syracuse University. I'm not, I don't, I'm not allowed to talk about that stuff until I've been here a while. <laughs> I'm sure there's other people, John Wildhack, uh, Chancellor Severud, fans, 
yeah. alumni. There's other people that can make that decision about 44. I'm not worthy enough to get a vote one way or another today. We'll get you out of here on this then, Coach. You're two hours west of us here in Albany. Give the fans here in the Capital Region a reason why they need to travel out and watch the Syracuse Orange inside the Carrier Dome this season. I can tell you right now, you'll see something that you've never seen before. Hopefully it won't be awful. Hopefully it will be really good. If you like fast break basketball, if you like showtime basketball with the Lakers, a little bit different than the Boston Celtics stuff on the East Coast, come out and watch the Syracuse Orange. It'll be something that you've never seen before. I can promise you that. Uh, And we'll be there, Coach. Best of luck in this season for you. Thank you so much, Tom, Wolf. Thank you.